Hello, this is Pindar, and I, I want to walk you through this interesting painting that uh, just got completed recently. It's not so much that uh, this is a successful painting, in that during this painting, as this painting was being crowdsourced and painted by people on the internet, uh, something that looks very much like a, a cyber attack happens. And I want to show it to you because it's really interesting and fun to watch. Uh, first, some quick background. Uh, this is a, a time lapse, and this painting took everything you see took a couple days. So it's painting it, we're showing it a lot faster than it actually happened. And the robot is painting strokes that it's coming in from, the, from people on the internet, which you can see in the bottom right-hand corner in that pip. Those are instructions that people are painting, and the robot is as fast as it can trying to paint all those instructions, all those strokes. Now, we can't be sure that it's a cyber attack, but a lot of weird things start happening both on our network traffic and on the canvas. Uh, first off, right about now, we start getting some political statements, uh, a couple swastikas, and also a lot of hits right now, a lot of uh, strokes coming in faster than the server can handle it. And here it actually crashes, and, and I lose a lot of strokes. You'll see that in a second. You see that. Then we get it back up and running, and then all of a sudden we get an explosion. You can see things painting faster than we can stop. And then something interesting happens. Uh, if you watch the pip really closely, you'll see a bunch of black dots appear right about, wait for it, right about, now, see them? That someone has actually reverse engineered uh, the commands we send to our robot, and you'll see the black swastika. So they're no longer even using our interface to add it. Look, they just added a bunch of text. So these people are no longer using our interface to add it. They have written their own programs that send um, directions directly to our robot. How cool is that? I mean, if it wasn't for the hate speech, I'd be really impressed with what they were doing. Um, they didn't like the controls we were giving them, so they wrote better ones for themselves. And they reverse engineered how we're doing it to let themselves write fonts on there. I, I think that's really cool. I just, like I said, I wish it wasn't used for all this hate speech. Um, but, oh, then the other attacks start coming. This is where it gets a little more interesting, a little scarier for us. At around this point, uh, the robot's still painting, but I notice that there's an RDP attempt. Someone's trying to log into our server and take control of our server, basically get on our desktop, have full control. And, and presumably steal a bunch of stuff, maybe lock us out. Um, the attacks come from two different places, two different IP addresses. I block them, I turn off external IP so that no one can come in, and then the attack comes from an internal IP address. We have an old server that we use to uh, store code and backups, and someone had actually gone onto that box. It looks like, I can't be certain, I'm not the best at reading the logs, but uh, all of a sudden that box is attacking our main robot server. So I looked around, uh, I looked at the computers, saw the power strip, and I turned everything off. And, uh, and that's how this art was made. Thank you for your time.